Have you ever felt the pain of being let down by your closest friends, even family, where you are doing your best, where you are building, where you are putting into other people's lives? And sometimes you sideswipe, shocked, taken back at the events that occur around about you where people undermine you, uh, take as it were almost the breath out of your lungs and diminish your inspiration. Words that have meant so much to me over the years are the words by the late Mother Teresa. She penned these words. People are unreasonable, illogical and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish motives, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is between you and your God. It was never between you and them anyway. There are many thieves in this world. The Bible says there is a thief in John 10 verse 10 that comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus said, but I have come that you may have life, that you may have it more abundantly. The system of the world is to diminish hope and to take from you the very inspiration that abides in your heart, those dreams, those aspirations that you have, even the kindness that you give to others. The system of the world is designed through the enemy, because that is the devil known by many names, Lucifer, liar, cheat, all these sorts of things, snake, is designed by him to take from you, to steal from you, I would encourage you to guard what you have within you. To understand that, as Peter said, when many disciples left him, he said, will you leave me also? And Peter looked at him and said these words, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Friends, what we have within us is greater than what the world has against us. Guard what you have and cherish it. Look up to heaven and say, Dear Heavenly Father, it really was between you and me anyway. God bless you as you move forward in the things of God. And rejoice greatly, for he has blessed you with eternal life, eternal peace, eternal joy. Don't lose those things because of the world. Don't lose those things because of people. Retain those things because it really was between you and God anyway.